Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage and I found three estate sales today that I'm interested in attending. So I'm actually sitting outside the first one. <music> The travel time between the three of them, uh, according to MapQuest, is two hours. So we'll see if I make it to the one that's farthest away, um, you know, because that makes for a long day. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would take you along. It's cool. Not my style, but very cool. So I didn't film very much in there because I got a little claustrophobic and overwhelmed. There were a lot of people there in a very tiny space and um, shoot, even the estate sale owner wasn't wearing a mask so I was like having to dodge people and keep my distance and it was just a little crazy. Um, they had a lot of amazing picture frames there and just because I was so overwhelmed I couldn't take the time to go through them to see what I might want or not want and then some of the vintage pictures that they had there um, they wanted reasonable prices on them if you were a collector and today was half price day so that's even saying at half price in my estimation um, not something I would pick up for my collection at those prices but I am on to the next ones uh, I'm gonna make a little pit stop for lunch All right. it was a small house 
and um, lots and lots of rooms. And they were on multiple floors, but there were people everywhere, and it was just craziness. <laughs> They had lots and lots and lots of picture frames, but I was so freaked out by the people that I just couldn't even look at them. So I did pick up a few things picture related, but not really any picture frames. Um, I have a couple other things sitting here that were with set aside with that haul, and I don't remember whether they were with that haul or not. That's what happens if I don't film these hauls immediately. <laughs> I forget what came from where. But I'm going to share all of this with you today. Um, I love these things. And when they're inexpensive enough, I get them. I haven't had uh, amazing luck selling them, to be quite honest with you. They should retail for um, about $4 a piece. Um, some of the better patterns go for a little bit higher <clears throat> but I like the fact that this was red and green because I thought this would look really nice for um, Christmas decoration as well I also picked up speaking of red and green this beautiful purse look at this look at all that beadwork on there of course it wants to focus on my face but isn't that cool all the beadwork I just thought and look at the little flower I just thought it was really, really very pretty. Um, has a nice little beaded handle. The inside is very clean. Has a green comb that's still in it. Um, this would be fun to hang in your St. Patrick's Day decor, actually. I don't know that I'm going to keep it for that, but that's definitely nice. All right, so I told you about all of the pictures and picture frames and whatnot. Um, I picked up a couple of things just because they were kind of oddball and I liked them. Look at this little guy. <laughs> this is adorable. Now, this is very vintage and this is the original price tag that was on it. It's not from the sale. Um, and I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell there's some warping and on the back you can tell there was some what yeah you can tell there was some water damage and warping i still think that the image itself even though there's a little discoloration there i still think the image itself is wonderful and it's in a plastic frame i mean it was originally intended to be really really cheap but sometimes that kind of kitsch is just is really fun i'm looking down at the bottom right now and i'm seeing um Copyright DIC New York, published for Soroka Sales Incorporated. I thought I might have found a date, but there's no date. Litho in the USA. But I thought, I thought he was really cute, so I picked him up. I also picked up these. And these, maybe they're plastic. They might be metal frames. I have two pictures. I thought they were really pretty. I like the frames, so if worst comes to worst, man, I keep the frames and use them for art. Th this one does have some um, damage here, I think, on the picture itself, some paint loss, but I think she's really pretty. This is the back. She's called Marianne, I think. It actually was nicely um, framed. <laughs> had a 60 cent price tag on it once upon a time. Um, but I thought it was really very cool. Now this one's in really nice condition and she's beautiful. But again, I like the frames. So if I can't sell them and make my money back on them, or rather, so if I can't sell them and make a profit, I will hang on to them and keep them for the frames. But I really like them. I like this picture a lot. But the back is just like the other one. And it's funny, I swear I think it says Marianne on that one too. No, it says Sally Ann, or Suzanne, Suzanne. So this is Suzanne, she's very pretty. I like the colors on that one a lot. These next guys, I have sold these before and I've seen them several times since then and I thought that I got a mismatched pair back when I sold them the first time, I really did. But I have seen them like this at least five times since then. It's this Santa um, salt and pepper shaker set. Now it's really funny that people that own them put this on the top. Either that or the sale did, I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. They do have their stoppers. 
but this one is held in with tape, so I'm thinking that they thought that the stopper was loose. Um, but I picked those up because you know me and Vintage Christmas have to have it. Um, I'm really excited about this next thing. I may have mentioned to you guys one other time, or I know I've mentioned it in chats, how I've never been able to find Balik for a reasonable enough price for me to pick it up. Well, I found a Balik vase. Now, this is an absolutely gorgeous vase. Unfortunately, it does have a small chip here. That's why I got it for a reasonable price because all the other Balik pieces that they had at the sale were taken. Everybody bought them. I saw them in the ad and by the time I got there, they were gone. This one was left because of that chip and I got it for really cheap. I don't remember what it was. Um, it was under $5, I'm sure. Um, but now I have a piece of Balik for my collection. It'll be a nice placeholder until I find a good piece that I can afford. Uh, I picked this up and I, I really like this kind of stuff. Now, is this considered boho? I think the elephants are, but this style, I don't know. It looks, it just reminds me of the 70s, actually. Um, but I love it. It's a bank. It has some paint loss on it in, in various places um, on the underside there. I think they probably tried to hold the stopper in with tape here and here. That's what that looks like to me. The stopper is missing. Um, but it does have some paint loss here too. But I love the colors. I love the guy. And I like it when they're missing some paint because then they have a story to tell and they are unmistakable as being vintage items. So I like that a lot. So I picked him up. I think he was maybe three or four dollars. Um, what else did I pick up? Oh, <laughs> I have to um, thank, blame, I don't know, <laughs> my friend uh, Karina at Tarnished Treasures for this as well because now I noticed something else that I've never noticed before. I noticed these beautiful jewelry caskets. This one is lovely. I love the color on this. Look at that. Look at the beautiful color. Look at the bottom. And there's the top. Now this one doesn't have the lining in it, but it's still gorgeous. And the um, it would need to be repaired. Um, <laughs> it's laughing because it is repaired, but that's how it's repaired. It needs to repair be repaired um, in a better fashion, you know, maybe with a wire that goes through there or whatever. But gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really pretty. I got a second one though. Again, it's all her fault. Um, this one is very, very lovely. And it has this neat little scene, which I don't know if it'll focus on or not, on the lid, which is really cool. That's the bottom of it. And this one, however, it does have its lining inside of it. Really, really pretty. Love it. A lot of things to show you. So I got some other pictures while I was there. I got this little boy. This is a plastic frame. This is another one of those. It's printed on cardboard. That's the back. Um, there's a little bit of warping to the thing, but there doesn't appear to be any water damage on him. He's really cute. And he has a friend. And this friend is this little guy. Isn't he adorable? So cute. Now he does seem to have a little bit of paint loss on him there. Um, but he's really, really cute. They're both adorable. I love those. I love those kinds of 70s looking kind of paintings. I got this. Because, and I don't have any idea how old it is. It's a Russell Stover box. And the interesting thing is, I was just before I was showed it to you, I was looking at the back at all of the print. And it has a production date down there. But I believe that's in Chinese. And there's no way I would have any idea what that is. And I can't tell 
if this marking is like a, you know, a sell-by date or whatever. So I don't know. But anyway, I know there are people that like these heart-shaped boxes for Valentine's display, so I picked it up. This next item, I don't know if it was from that sale or not, the one that had all of the picture frames and was crazy with people. Um, but I saw it, and I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous. It's a felted piece, and it's lovely. It has different colors of felting in the strap. It's got leaves on it sewn embellishments it's got little mirror embellishments on there it's just really cool it's in wonderful condition this is the flap when it opens up um, it's the brand on it is rising tide it's a hundred percent wool and it was made in Nepal and that's the inside of it very clean very nice um, it is missing the little zipper pull on the inside pocket, but other than that, very, very nice piece. Um, yeah, it's artwork. I like to have uh, wearable art because I think it's a nice way to, um, a useful way of displaying art. So I got another purse as well. This one just kind of spoke to me. And they had it priced so inexpensively. I, I can't even remember what it was. I think it was under $5. And um, I thought, you know, that's just really cool. It is leather. It's pretty easy to see that it's leather. Um, the paint is, is coming off in some places there. There's a sticker there that would have to be... I might try to see if I can get that off. Um, but it latches like that says that it's handmade. You can see the inside, the leather on the inside. Now the, it smells nice. <laughs> this is the inside of it. This lining part here has a little bit, I don't know if it's showing, yeah it is. It has a little bit of a, a break on it. Um, and I can't make out the name of that. Um, it is signed and I can't make out the name so but I thought that was very nice and for the money I thought I would take a chance on that so <laughs> you guys know how I love my little odd kitschy things um, don't think these are terribly old but I had to have them there were six of them and for Easter these would be really cute just in a bowl in addition a display so I picked up all of those here let's show you they're kind of fun <laughs> a little bit little bundle of chicks <laughs> she needs to be cleaned up there's some white stuff on her I don't know what it is this is a little occupied Japan girl but down here at the base there's some white powder all around this area here. I'm going to have to give that a clean and see what's going on. But you know I love my littles. And um, so Occupy Japan, she needed to come with me. <laughs> Learn my lesson. My husband and I are binge watching Bones right now. That's the one we watched last night. She's like a... Um, She's a forensic anthropologist, but she was with a coroner who opened a skull and hit on this, somebody had booby-trapped it, and this powder flew out and went into her lungs and damaged her lungs and almost killed her. <laughs> I see a little powder like that. Like, I'm like, just don't breathe it in. This is another piece that I blame on Tarnished Treasures, and I don't know... I may keep this because it's just gorgeous. It would be really pretty hung on a wall um, in a vignette of some sort, you know, a wall decoration. But look, there's my door. Look at this beautiful frame on this mirror. And look on the back. It's got this blue flocking. It's just very pretty. It reminds me of the, of the, um, the ones that she has hanging on her wall. Very cool. Yeah, Karina, you did it. <laughs> um, 
again, I pick up odd, unusual stuff from time to time, usually for me. Um, I think there's this bag of all these beads. And I picked this up because I thought this was really neat trim, the orange and the white, and I could use them on something. In the same bag was this trim. I'm not quite sure what that is. It has two little loops on it. I wondered if it was for glasses, but they're not, you know, they wouldn't hold glasses. Same thing here. If you guys know what these are, let me know, because I think they're kind of cool. I found a second in a ser obviously a series of these things. Oh. But look at this. I sold another one in another one of my live sales. It's like a makeup, um, like a lipstick holder, a vanity thing. But look at it. Isn't she pretty? Look at her eyes. She's just so peaceful looking. Um, there's a mark on it. It is signed, but I don't know what it says. I can't make it out. Um, and she does have, I just saw it a minute ago, just minor paint loss there. And she needs a little bit of a cleanup. But other than that, she's, she's in really nice condition. She's beautiful. And finally, the last thing I'm going to show you in this haul is something else that I never thought I was going to be able to, to afford to buy. I found Yadro that I could afford. She's beautiful. And it's funny when I saw her there, because you know they make they do knockoffs of Yadro. But you can tell the quality. And all of her calla lilies are in perfect condition. She's just in excellent, excellent condition all the way around. Um, she's just beautiful. But there's there's her mark. She's Yadro. Um, it's funny, I studied in Spain, and um, so I was well aware of Yadro, even back, you know, when I was younger, and I never could really afford it, and, and not only that, it's not like I want to keep this for my collection, I mean, not really not into the um, pastel kind of colors like this, but I do think she's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and I know how, what high quality that company is, so... That's the last piece from that haul. I do hope that you all enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, I love all things vintage. Um, I'm usually out looking for vintage items that date from the mid-70s um, and earlier. And I have live sales on my channel every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so you're welcome to join me there. I do sell an awful lot of what I pick up at the um, estate sales and the flea markets and rummage sales and things that I go to. Um, so if you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I go live or post new content. And I would also love it if you would leave me a comment. Tell me what it is that you liked that I picked up today. Is there something I picked up that you wouldn't pick up in a million years? <laughs> I'd like to know that too. That's always fun. Um, I really, really enjoy the community um, that I get through the comments and through the people who come to my live sales. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.